All right, everybody's seen all the videos by now. Um, I kind of want to repeat the test that Snap-on did. They basically showed an icon just rounding right over um, a 13 millimeter hex. So what I have here is this icon, the anti-slip version, part number WCAM13. And then I have Snap-on um, Flank Drive Plus, I believe. Part number SOEXM13. Both brand new, completely brand new. Nothing has been altered on this hex or anything. Um, let's see what these jaws look like whenever I start applying tension to them. So I'm going to start with the icon. Here we go. <clears throat> so it definitely just rounded that over. Now it's stuck on there pretty good. Okay, there's the jaws there. All right, let's see this part here. All right, now let's try the snap-on. We'll flip to the other side, just so you guys can see. Nothing's been done to this piece of hex. Okay, here we go. And I'm not using no cheater bar or nothing on this. This is just what I can get leverage off of the length of wrench. And these are about the same length, so. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this to go over. I'll try two hands on it here. Okay, I mean, I got it to go, but that was significantly harder than the icon. So, there you have it. I uh, can't really say Snap-on was lying in that video because I don't really care which of these wrenches win. But, bottom of the line, I think this is, uh, or I'm sorry, bottom line, I think this whole set was like, 70 i think normal price maybe 120 or something like that um this one wrench alone was about 50 bucks but you just seen there apparently it does grip better and let's look at the so that's the snap on side it did slip but it was a lot more difficult and then there's the icon side. So I'll go back over. Let's see if we can do this icon side again. And we'll we'll grip further down on this. Or I'm sorry, that's a snap-on. Um, we'll grip further down on this just to see if I got the same results here. So one hand. Oh, sorry. Okay, further down, icon, one hand. Oh, no, can't get it with one hand. Trying it with two. Okay. So yeah, it slipped off there again. And this is not hardened tool steel bar. I believe this is um, uh, 1215L. So take that for what it's worth too. There's the second mark for the icon there. 
Jaws don't look damaged or anything at all though, so that's a good sign. But I do think that the, uh, you know, once you start applying pressure to this, that those jaws are opening up more than that snap-on is. So we got a gear wrench here also. Ratcheting one, 13 millimeter also. Um, I'll grab a fresh spot on here too, just so we can see what that looks like. I don't know if I can get the leverage behind this one. This is a lot smaller of a wrench. I can't get that one to turn. So, anyways, I just wanted to do that video to see if the um, Snap-On's response video, if that was true, and it is true. I don't really care. Either of these wrenches are going to work, but the Snap-On does win this one. <laughs>